Does fasting cure diseases and slow down aging? Fasting has become the talk of the town nowadays. But do you know it isn't anything new? It is well rooted in the history of many cultures and religions both from East and West. Well, so many religions spoke openly about it whereas some preferred to practice it covertly. People have been observing fasting for both medical and religious reasons since antiquity. Let's understand in this video the history of fasting and if it really helps in weight loss, curing diseases, or slowing down aging. Fasting is often misunderstood as starvation. People believe one has to starve when they hear the word fasting. But it isn't what is being perceived. It is much more than not eating food to treat one's body with the right intake of food. In this video, I will talk about fasting and its misconceptions. I will also be talking about various studies undertaken to prove whether fasting cures diseases and reverse aging. What is fasting? Fasting in general means going without food for a certain period of time, it could extend from a few hours to days depending on the type of fasting one is undertaking. Its purpose varies from health and religious to ethical. Many people practice it for weight loss, anti-aging, and even reducing or maintaining their waistlines. The origin of fasting can't be traced as different cultures have varied written records about the timeline. But we will talk about a few of the practitioners who talked about the importance of fasting. Intermittent fasting that is being offered under the rejuvenation plan by many coaches has different approaches to it, such as alternate day fasting, 5 to 2 fasting, and daily time restricted fasting. First alternate day fasting, this is one of the most common approaches to fasting wherein one is supposed to eat a normal diet one day and fast for another. Second 5 to 2 fasting, fasters eat a healthy diet for 5 days and fast for 2 days. Third daily time restricted fasting, you can eat normally but the eating window is 8 hours. Whatever you eat is within this duration, rest you have to fast for 16 hours. History of Fasting Fasting has been used therapeutically since at least the 5th century BCE when Greek physician Hippocrates recommended abstinence from food or drink for patients who exhibited certain symptoms of illness. Just like many other religions, fasting is a huge part of Hinduism. It is practiced religiously in India. The method of fasting may differ from community to family, but it is done to purify the mind, body, and soul. It is not an obligation to practice fasting but people do it out of spiritual activity. Also, it is done to show their love and devotion to God. Many healing programs also highlight the importance of fasting. A lot of coaches make their students practice fasting as a way of healing. They believe that healing starts from inside rather than outside. The ancient medical system Ayurveda also talks about the significance of intermittent fasting how it is beneficial in healing one's body. The core point is to heal a body by flushing out the excess metabolic toxin, metabolic poisons or toxins which arise as a consequence of the impaired functioning of digestive fire, from it. Detoxification differs for everybody as there is a difference in body type which means fasting varies from person to person. Do you know? Mohandas Karam Kant Gandhi famously known as Mahatma Gandhi played a key role in India's fight for independence. He was known for using non-violence as a weapon to fight for India's freedom. He believed in the philosophy of Hinsa, non-violence. In his fight for India's freedom, he undertook many methods, one of which was the hunger strike. Gandhi in total undertook 18 fasts, the longest of which lasted for 21 days. He started the fast on September 18, 1928 and ended it on October 8, 1928. Does fasting cure diseases or does it help the human body in any way? THR significance of fasting is found in many religions such as Hinduism, Christianity, etc. It is being practiced in almost every part of the world. Does it help the human body in any manner? Let's begin our hunt for the answers. We know fasting does a few changes in the body. But what is it? Before I answer this, let me ask you one more question. What happens when you run out of money? Suppose you have spent your monthly salary and now some random expense occurs. What will you do? Well, this is why we do savings, to use it on the rainy day, isn't it? 
Same way when you fast the body starts relying on the stored fat as it becomes more accessible. Several things happen in the body on cellular and molecular levels. Here are a few changes that occur in the body while fasting. 1. Human Growth Hormone, HGH, the levels of growth hormones shoot, increasing its production. 2. Insulin, when you fast the insulin sensitivity improves and the level of insulin drops dramatically. Lower insulin levels make stored fat more accessible. 3. Cellular Repair, when fasted, your cells initiate cellular repair processes. This includes autophagy where cells digest and remove old and dysfunctional proteins that build up inside cells. Does fasting help in weight loss? Is it a myth or fact? Weight loss is the most common cause of fasting. People often follow intermittent fasting to lose weight. Intermittent fasting leads to a reduction in calorie intake of a person. It adjusts the hormone levels of a person to keep up with the intake of calories and weight loss. It lowers the insulin level of a person and increases the growth hormone. It increases the release of the fat-burning hormone norepinephrine, noradrenaline. A 2014 review study found that this eating pattern can cause 3 to 8 percent weight loss over 3 to 24 weeks, which is a significant amount, compared to most weight loss studies. According to the same study, people also lost 4 to 7 percent of their waist circumference indicating a significant loss of harmful belly fat that builds up around their organs and causes disease. Another 2011 study showed that intermittent fasting causes less muscle loss than the more standard method of continuous calorie restriction. Cancer Treatment and Groundbreaking Discoveries Walter Longo, director of the Longevity Institute at the University of Southern California, talks about treating cancer. He thinks that short-term complete fasts maximize the benefits of its treatment. He has found that a 48-hour total fast slow in the growth of five of eight types of cancer in mice, the effect tending to be more pronounced the more fasts the animals undertook. Mark Matson at the National Institute on Aging says we know from animal models that if we start an intermittent fasting diet at what would be the equivalent of middle age in people, we can delay the onset of Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The evidence is pretty strong that our ancestors did not eat three meals a day plus snacks, Atsing says. Our genes are geared to being able to cope with periods of no food. According to Luke Corey, a registered dietitian with Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine and sports nutritionist with the Minnesota Timberwolves, he further added intermittent fasting can help people live a better quality of life for a longer period of time. Fasting has incredible effects on aging. It boosts one's metabolism by ensuring more efficient breakdown of nutrients and burning of calories. It increases the level of antioxidants which prevents the iron, free molecules, from interfering with the body cells. Dr. Takuki Teruya and a team of scientists at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology Graduate University in Japan, conducted a study to examine the impact of metabolism on skin aging. As per the research, Fasting and calorie restriction boost metabolism and immunity. Strong metabolism ensures a healthy body and skin. The concept of fasting is widely known and practiced throughout the world. People are making it a part of their lifestyle. It has many potential benefits such as weight loss, improved blood sugar control etc. People have been promoting fasting for many years now. A good nutritious diet and fasting when practiced correctly leads to a healthy life.